Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review and today I will be reviewing Studio Series 86 Autobot Jazz. And here he is in his packaging. Uh, as you can see, very G1-y detail. Transformers the movie, Transformers Jazz in his nice standard pose I guess. Um, product shots, background, moon attack, or let's see. Yeah, did Autobot Jazz makes a feudal escape as Unicron devours Moon Base One. Big screen inspired detail backdrop. Mo moon Base One destruction. Destruction of. Yeah, well, anyway, Moon Base One's destroyed in this scene. Anyway, let's go ahead and get him out of the box. Okay. Fortunately, his box is undamaged as far as, well, I mean, I guess there's a little bit right there, but it shouldn't affect this lovely backdrop. Kind of a shame that I'm probably not going to be able to save this and keep this one because this one is actually really cool. Maybe I will save it. Maybe I won't. Anyway, yeah, and his instructions. other figures that you can get sneak peek at what's coming later <laughs> anyway now let's go ahead and get him out of his bones okay. so, clip 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 and maybe clip maybe don't need to clip this one we'll see Nope, don't need to clip that one. And here we have Jazz in his probably mostly transformed robot mode. Maybe not. Let's see. A sec. Okay, don't really know what that's for. I'll leave that alone for right now until I've had a chance to look at the instructions a bit more thoroughly. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of the bits the unnecessary bits okay let's go ahead and take a nice good look at his face sculpt nice silver for his face and mouth and nose nice blue for his visor and black for the rest of his head uh, heads on a ball joint so you can turn all the way around wiggle up and down uh, nice blue for his headlights, uh, silver on his bumper, grill, and then Autobot emblem in blue, uh, blue on his crotch, um, silver on his waist, arms, shoulders, uh, elbows, hollow forearms, no wrist rotation, but they flip in and out due to transformation. Um, he can, he can, he can't quite do the full splits. But um, that should be sufficient articulation anyway. He has a waist swivel. He has a hip or a thigh swivel. And his bend is at the knee is, well, if I can get, to, okay. Bend at the knee is a little less than 90 degrees. Um, I mean, as you saw for the, as I was wanting to go, but for like, I guess transformation, it can go a little bit extra. Let get that tab back into place. Um, toes, I guess, can wiggle. Probably more for transformation than anything else. And, of course, was, which has kind of become standard, we have ankle tiltage. Okay, so, and he does come, as you saw in the box, he does come with one accessory, one weapon, which is a blaster done in white with painted, with painted silver. Looks pretty nice. Simple but nice, and... Let's just go ahead and plug that in, and there he goes. And now you can shoot whatever Decepticons that didn't actually end up invading the moon base, but, eh, I guess. Uh, anyway, standard defense, and there he is on the backdrop. Ready to defend moon base one against Unicron, which is kind of, um, well, didn't happen. They both were destroyed. One got blown up, the other got eaten. 
I can't remember which one got eaten, which one got blown up. Maybe they both got eaten. I know that one of them was armed with explosives. It's been a little while since I've seen the movie, so I don't remember which moon base that was. Okay, now time to go ahead and put him in his sporty vehicle mode. Before I do a huge injustice by failing to show him properly in his robot mode, turns out, as you can see right here, there's a little thing I want you to do when you first come out of the packaging before you actually transform him. So I'm going to go do that real head real quick. So you lift up his backpack. You scrunch. I'm a little concerned about being clear plastic because I don't want it to eventually snap. But you wiggle that up in there. Fold down the doors. And then you wiggle his backpack back down. And there you go. Much cleaner robot mode. As you can see, it's not really sticking out as it was. Looks much better much much better now i thought it looked kind of odd with the way everything was sticking out but yeah there we go that is his proper robot mode and i guess i'll go ahead and pose him real quick with his gun again just so that you guys can see him as he was meant to be seen there okay now to go ahead and transform him for real this time his transformation is actually really intuitive I think it's really cool. I mean, I was able to figure most of it out without having to look at the instructions too in too much in depth. But like, flip feet down, pretty much got the back of the car done. Uh, put uh, put his feet together, just scrunch up his legs like that, and pretty much got the back of the car done. Um, then you, of course, unbackpack, unbackpack, undo his backpack to actually be sort of like the back of a car. Then you want to flip this down and around his head. Flip, rotate. You don't want to rotate his waist, but you wrote that. This is the only thing that's kind of interesting that I thought that was a little bit weird or different. Then you flip his hands in, rotate, then rotate like this. Rotate, turn in, turn it. There we are. Oh, wait. Get that up there so that the hood is filled in <clears throat> rotate the rest of the way around make sure it kind of pegs into place I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to peg into place but once everything gets all snug in there it tends to kind of fit in there but my guess is like somewhere around here on the uh, right like right here I think is kind of where it's supposed to peg in it's like right there getting it to do that it's somewhat tricky anyway once you got kind of got this all lined up, then you want to uh, go ahead and bring down the, come on, you want to make sure everything's lined up about as well as you can. Put the windshield down like that, tab it down right here in the back. And then, of course, last thing you want to do is to tab down his doors. And pretty, that's pretty much all you do to get him transformed into his car mode which is really cool really nice really sporty really like it rolls around very well better than i think maybe even better than hot rod anyway but yeah spins i guess and then of course for weapon storage the only thing they have they don't really have anything for underneath unfortunately but you can of course plug it into the roof of the car like that and there we go come on focus there we go and we, he has a gun now one thing that you may or may not have noticed if you have well not too surprising but once you see it you cannot unsee it this car has eyes as you can see pupils windshield makes you think of cars and a lot of people are like glad that repro labels makes labels so that they can cover up the windshield i don't know i if they do i really hope they include one that's meant for like cars so that actually where you could actually kind of make him a cars character that'd be kind of funny if they did that made the windshield eyes and maybe even a mouth uh sticker to go on the front bumper that would actually be kind of cool i think not necessarily definitely not accurate but i think it'd be kind of funny like maybe if they had come to the cars world rather than um our world which would be kind of funny it'd be like another crossover they could do 
which would be cars and transformers although i'm not exactly sure it's just weird because it'd be just like them turning into people i mean i guess it'd be more accurate what they were expecting when they came to earth because they'd actually be disguising themselves as the native life forms so i don't know that would be an interesting uh crossover that they could do something that they could have fun with well it has been a Sheik's Transformers review of Transformers the Movie Studio Series Autobot Jazz. And until next time, have a good one.